In this video, we'll talk about combinations with repetition. If we have to select k items from n elements with repetition. So with repetition, meaning we are putting the items back in after we select them, or, or an endless supply of, of the same type of, of something. So let's say we have n equals three elements. And we'll name those elements. We've got, uh, let's say, F. And we have the element R. And we have the element T. These can stand for what you want them to be. But we'll, we'll use those as an example. We're going to select eight items. OK. So I'll say K equals eight. Eight items. OK, so what are we going to select? Well, let's, let's just pick some items out. I'm going to put a block here so, so we don't, we don't uh, mix the, these letters up with this K. Let's say we pick an R. OK, so we picked an R, but it's replacement or an endless supply of this R. So I'm going to put an R back in. All right, then we're going to pick, uh, let's say, another R. All right, we've got to put it back in. Let's say we pick a T. We've got to put that back in. We only have three so far. We're going to continue this until we have eight selected. So let's say we pick another R. We have to replace that R. Uh, let's say we pick an F finally. We have to replace that F. Um, we let's say we pick an R. We like those R's. We we replace that R. Let's say we pick a and F. We have to replace that F. Let's say we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We pick one more. We're on to our last one. We're going to pick a T to end it. Ah, now we're not going to replace that T. This is this is a very important point here. We are not going to replace that T because we are finished. We have selected all eight items. So now if we look at the total number of, of elements that we had here, if we kept resupplying every time we took an R out, we put another one back in, how many uh, different elements did we have? Well, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or let's look at it this way. We had the original three in blue here. So I'm going to say we have the original, uh, the, the number from which we chose. We had our three plus we replaced every time we took one, we replaced except the last one. So we didn't replace the last one, but we replaced every one except the last one. So three plus eight minus that one. We didn't, didn't replace that last one that we chose. Now we can and, and we should then use the letters to code this. So we can say, oh, that three was the original n, n number of items or uh, elements. K was the eight. And then we will always have the minus one because we don't replace that last one. So we are choosing from n plus k minus one. So I'm going to write that down to summarize this. So we can say that we selected k items from the available n plus k minus one. And we saw that visually. So we can write that uh, and it, it kind of looks funny, but we can certainly write that as the n plus k minus one choose k. And that's how we would write this when we're selecting k items from n elements with repetition. I hope that helps.